testing, testing. All right, I am back with a Black Myth Wukong video. Uh, probably not going to be making a ton of these, but I wasn't really even going to play this game. Um, it looked cool, I guess, and it reviewed pretty well, but uh, I'm, I'm more looking forward to Star Wars at the end of the week here, whenever it is, some, somewhere in there. Uh, but this game just broke a ton of records on Steam. Uh, it is double the previous um, most played single player games like Elden Ring and Cyberpunk. It got over, it got 2.2 million players concurrently, which beats Pal World even, and it's, it is now the number two most concurrently played game on uh, Steam of all time behind just PUBG. The reason for this is very, very obvious. Uh, this is doing enormous numbers in China, which has a bazillion people in it. Um, this is a Chinese studio. This is an incredibly famous Chinese story. This has uh, been relentlessly promoted in China, even if you've may have seen less of it here. Um, reportedly, anywhere from like 85 to 90 percent of the player base is from China. Um, there's these, you know, stories about wow, it lost two million players in a matter of hours. And it's like, yeah, everyone from China went to bed. So it, I'm not going to say it's misleading, but like this is just a, a massive game in a very specific part of the world. But even then, it's still doing well everywhere else. Even if you take that away, that's, you know, 200, 250,000 concurrent players in the rest of the world. And it's a huge success. There's no disputing that. So I definitely wanted to at least um, try it out. And uh, I've played maybe, I think, five or six hours, seven hours so far. I am, I think, most of the way through Chapter 2 in the Desert Zone after um, beating Chapter 1. And I'll give my thoughts here. I think it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm not overly impressed by it in, in any way. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's supposed to emulate Souls games in a number of ways, but it doesn't feel like a Souls game almost at all. It is much more linear, I would say, and combat is much more action-oriented. It feels closer to something like Devil May Cry, to a certain extent, and um, some people were asking if it's if it's like God of War, not be like the new God of Wars, maybe the old God of Wars a little bit, albeit, you know, obviously not with the same camera perspective, but it is most of the time very linear. Um, and what I found is essentially it's it's boss rush the game boss rush that's hard to say boss rush the game uh, the the game advertised itself as having 80 bosses I think and while you'd see you know a game like Elden Ring be like oh well they have 80 bosses at least this is not it's not formatted like that at all um, it's it's these very you know straightforward linear levels um, where you have one character it's a you have a pretty limited amount of builds from what I can tell you can do different stances and things but you're always this monkey you always have your big staff and um, the bosses are just thrown at you, you know, very, very quickly. Um, some of them are optional. Some of them, you know, you can't just be like, well, I'm going to go explore and come back later and see if I can beat this guy. Like some of, no, some of them are just hard walls that uh, you have to get past either by just, you know, playing extremely well or by going and grinding a couple of mobs and, and ranking up some more skill points to like give you a little extra boost. Um, which I've done a few times, although that's, I feel like that's more of a placebo effect because like, you know, one tiny tick of health is, is not going to outweigh you just sort of playing better and, and killing a boss. The first zone I, I didn't really like at all. It's this forest area. It is ex it, it's either extremely linear or it's just extremely confusing to navigate. There's no map in this game. I hate games without maps. It, it just really bothers me. Um, and that there is no exception here. It just makes a lot of these zones very difficult to navigate or very difficult to return to a place you, you've previously been and like, you know, explore more. It's just, it's, it's not great in terms of that. And the first zone, it's a lot of winding around, you know, for a couple of minutes, finding a boss, doing the same thing again. And once you get to the second zone, things open up a little bit. It's, it's somewhat more of an open area, uh, to some extent at least, um, parts of the zone, and I've, I've enjoyed that more. Uh, a lot of the reviews said, you know, the boss fights are engaging, but it's what's between the boss fights that's a problem, and, like, that's very true. Uh, there's So far, there's very little between the boss fights other than 
um, you know, light amounts of mobs, like really not anything. It's it's a couple enemies here and there. It's it's very rarely like this is not super action in that you're like fighting, you know, hordes of things at a time. But with the way combat works, it is a bit souls like in that. Yeah, like even fighting three enemies at a time is, is going to give you some trouble, uh, certainly. And sometimes you'll, you know, this isn't a like there's a point of grace at each boss fight. Like if you die at bosses, you'll have to often have to run a decent ways through an old area and just sort of dodge um, enemies in your way. It's, it's I don't know, it's not great. And, you know, it, it does send you back to the start if you die in a zone, but you, d you don't lose anything except having to kill the enemies that respawn. Like, you don't lose experience. You're not, you don't have to go find your body and recollect your XP you dropped. So it, it's a lot more forgiving than a lot of these games. And at least so far, the boss fights aren't, is hard it's just the process just does not seem to be changing at this point and from what i've heard of people who have gotten farther it doesn't necessarily change uh, the further you go it's you know these these mostly linear zones full of not that many enemies and then you get to a boss um most of them are mandatory that i found some are optional um you often don't know where you're supposed to go because like sometimes a little like breadcrumb trail will show up and sometimes it won't so you're just kind of wandering around the wilderness the boss fights uh so far they're good um i have enjoyed kind of learning the the strategies of them and, and figuring out ways to uh you know use some of the new skills i've unlocked and things to work my way around them boss diversity is not like super huge at this point i've fought i don't know six guys that are some variant of people having long staffs um some with you know different magic powers and stuff but um I, there's been some diversity it's just not maybe as much as i've been hoping for so far but i've seen some some cool bosses later on it's just like literally in some of these instances it's like fight a boss spend a couple fights learning their moves in this kit and like whatever and then beat it and then i, I some of these it's like walk 60 seconds down a road and fight another boss. <laughs> so if you just if you really really like boss fights and that kind of uh, encounter, then this might be right up your alley. Uh, just speaking for me personally, it's it's not really landing because this I I would prefer something that is more explorable than what we're seeing here, other than just like oh well walk 30 feet down this path and there's a chest. Like in that way, it does remind me of God of War, where there's not a ton of true exploration outside of some really specific areas. But there is, there's not even like a main open world area that branches off into these levels. It's just, it's it's very linear progression, very linear levels, which is, is a return to some, you know, classic games uh, in the sense of just straight up levels, straight up linearity, um, and then the focus is on the combat. I like the combat. I think the combat's good. Um, I'm slowly getting better at it over time. Uh, you really have to... <laughs> um, memorize a lot of these these boss patterns as your main uh, tool here i am wondering how build diversity changes as time goes on i i, I don't imagine you get non-staff weapons i'm not i'm not entirely sure but this seems you know his staff seems pretty core to the character so it, it might just you know you upgrade these other stances for different situations and you unlock kind of more more combo moves and, and things like that uh, I like the spells. The spells are pretty cool. Um, so far, I just have the... You can go invisible and then do, like, a secret backstab strike on people. And then there's the freeze people and turn them into stone one, which uh, is obviously very useful. And then there's a full transform one, where right now I only have the ability to turn into this fire wolf guy that I fought earlier. And then you have, like, a little... It's like a super period where you just use that character to do as much damage as you can before either your timer runs out or they take all their uh, life and they die. I've used this, I've, I've used it defensively at times where if they're, if you get into a fight and there's like, you know in the midsection he's going to do some crazy shit, like throw a bunch of meteors at you or whatever, you just change into your, your wolf form and then if you die during that part as the wolf, it's not as big of a deal um, because that doesn't actually fully kill you. You just turn back into the monkey. Um, I, I'm curious to see what which of those, what other forms you get over time. There's also like spirits you can summon that aren't quite like you know something like an Elden Ring summon because they just show up for like a second. It's more like a fighting game assist where like you summon a guy who gives you a bunch, a couple of poison snakes. 
you summon like a rock salamander that just like dives at him for two seconds. Those cooldowns are like insanely long, at least right now. Uh, so I, I haven't found those to be the most useful. Um, rather, it's it's using your spells, combining you know light light combos, heavy charge up attacks, which do a lot of damage, staggering enemies. You know, it's it's pretty basic stuff, but I, I think it is fun. Uh, it's just that the the relentlessness of this, you know, go through some pretty uninteresting zones. Uh, you know, fight a boss, memorize his patterns, kill him, fight another one. A couple minutes later, it's it's just wearing on me a bit to the point where like I'm. I, I'm not really thinking this is for me. I'm not really thinking I'm going to put a full 40 hours into this. Or someone said it's 90 hours for completion, which I don't fully understand because I don't think there's that much secret or, or explorable here unless I'm missing just vast swaths of things. But anyway, I understand why this is doing well. I understand why a lot of people will like it. It's just, you know, if you're expecting this to be like China's Elden Ring or something, which I was not, um, it's it's not that for sure. Um, I... I do know a lot of people are loving it, and that's great. Uh, we'll, we'll see how far I get. You know, obviously I have some some time this week, and I've taken a, a live service break for now, so this is you know something to fill the gap. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, if if I progress a lot further and, and things really open up, or I change my opinion, maybe I'll, I'll circle back to this new another video. But for now, yeah, it's it's okay. <laughs> so do with that what you will. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.